First, though, the end of an era in San Antonio. The great Manu Ginobili made his retirement official on Monday on a medium that did not exist when he arrived in 2002 as a EuroLeague MVP. He offered immense gratitude to everyone involved in his life the last 23 years, what he described a fabulous journey. And Brent, uh, you're talking about a, a surefire Hall of Famer, obviously, whose career resume, at least on paper or in on the internet, however you look at it, doesn't necessarily capture his impact. He was only twice an all-star, never averaged 20 points. The highest he ever got was third-team All-NBA, but a crucial part of four championship teams who played a style that no one has replicated. Well, if, if you add in, obviously, Matt, we talk about his international experience, right. but the Hall of Fame takes into account uh, Manu Ginobili, uh, for sure a Hall of Famer, but it's the role that Manu played and accepted in San Antonio that's you know, one of the more spectacular parts about his career, to have that kind of production for that long and to be that consistent. Uh, El Contusion, as, as I, I called him back <laughs> yeah. in San Antonio, uh, deserving of a Hall of Fame induction and certainly deserving, Matt, of all the praise from all the players over the past couple of days who've reached out via social media and let Manu know just how much of an inspiration as a player he was, how much of a pleasure it was to compete against him. But you saw a lot of international younger players say, you're the reason why I dreamt that it was possible for me to have the opportunity to play in the NBA. Manu was just that special. A lot of left-handed guys as well took note of uh, yeah, yeah. Manu Ginobili's yeah. left-handedness and how effective he was. And, of course, you played with him for yeah. four years. What do folks at home need to know about Manu Ginobili as a teammate? You know, it's uh, – it's, it's something in San Antonio to be part of, of what they have done over the course of the past 25 years. But when you talk about that organization passing from David Robinson and Tim Duncan as a foundation behind Pop and his system and the culture, Manu Ginobili is the guy that everybody leaned on. Manu Ginobili was the emotional leader of that team. Manu was the heart of that team. And we knew, Matt, that we had something that other teams didn't. But we also knew that he had something that no other player had, and that was the competitive fire that he brought to the table in the biggest moments without reservation. It's something I was yeah. always jealous of as a player in a very healthy way. But when it was time to do the biggest things and it was time to win, Manu put blinders on and would put everything on his shoulders and go through anybody and anything to try to win a basketball game. And that's how big his heart was. And you could consider him... I mean, really, if you look at his numbers, he might be in that 6 to 10 range of the all-time greatest shooting guards that this league has ever seen. And that's saying something for a guy who accepted a role coming off the bench. But again, it doesn't always show up in the statistics, but playing with guys like Tim Duncan and Tony Parker and so many other great players along the way, as often as not, even through last season at who the age the of 40, Manu Ginobili yeah. was the guy finishing games and making decisions for the Spurs. Yep, and you just talked about the greatest winning trio in NBA history in Parker, Ginobili, and Tim Duncan. And, of course, Pop was going to call. If it wasn't four down for Timmy, it was going to be a high rub screen and roll. And Manu Ginobili is going left. He's left the NBA, and next stop is the Hall of Fame. Amano is also the last uniform man standing from the Spurs' two decades of continuous excellence. TD retired. Tony Parker is weirdly now a Charlotte Hornet. Manu now hanging him up. 21 straight playoff seasons for this group. Uh, five titles along the way. They had all those 50-win seasons as well. And now only Greg Popovich really remains as they turn the page there finally. Well, you're, you're not mentioning also the fact that Kawhi Leonard now traded in the offseason. Right. So now this is... A brand new Spurs team and a lot of people raising their eyebrows about what does the future hold, not only for the tenure of Greg Popovich as the coach in San Antonio, but how this team is going to look. Ten All-Star seasons gone, nine championship seasons between all of those players in just this offseason now gone, a finals MVP no longer part of the roster, right. and the San Antonio Spurs trying to find their way with a lot of young talent in a very tough Western Conference that, again, the shift of power is still in the West. And how does San Antonio find its footing with all these mid-range shooters and young right. players having to play important minutes? Very interesting start to the season coming up for San Antonio. I mean, it's still early. We're here in August. Do you have a sense of how good this team could be, especially considering what else is out there in the West? I know they're going to be disciplined. 
And I know they're going to play some defense, I can tell you that, Matt. But how much, because last year we saw them struggle, how many times they struggled to score in bunches right, against right. some of the juggernauts that the Western Conference has offensively. And you're not talking just about Golden State and Houston this year. You've got to add in the likes of improving teams like the Denver Nuggets, mm -hmm. Oklahoma City, mm -hmm. bringing Paul George back and having another year of that continuity. There's, there's a lot of monsters there out in the West, and San Antonio is going to have to step up big time to compete against them. Well, for the moment, this is Manu Ginobili's time. The Honorable Ron Nuremberg, the mayor of San Antonio, has declared Thursday Manu Ginobili Day in San Antonio. But I said earlier to you, isn't every day Manu Ginobili <laughs> it, it Day in San Antonio? It has been that way for a long time, Matt, in San Antonio.